the uh, how strategy affects organization design. Strategy impact internal organization characteristics. Your managers must design the organization to support the firm competitive strategy. So uh, the contingency factors that affect organization design, these are some factors. For example, uh, how do you want to design your company will be dependent on, uh, you know, your structure and design will depend on your strategy, your environment, technology available, life cycle and culture. Are you guys okay with this? Okay. Uh, assessing organizational effectiveness, uh, managers must evaluate goals. Uh, effectiveness uh, can be uh, difficult to measure and the managers determine what to measure. Effectiveness takes into consideration a range of variables at both the organizational and departmental levels. Do you want to always check your effectiveness? Here we've got some sample goals. Uh, some of the sample goals is profitability. Uh, some people look for market share. Some people look for growth, social responsibility, and product quality. So if you think about companies, do they need any other goal other than these? Remember the scorecard about the gauges? Remember on that? You want to look for your customers, you know, which is your market share. You want to look for profitability, which is like your financial statements and return. You want to look for your growth, your people are learning. And you also want to see your product quality. You know, product quality, availability, uh, can you achieve higher level of uh, service or uh, product quality or... Uh, here we've got the resources and internal processes goals. Uh, you also want to be resource-based indicators looking at the inputs regarding the uh, uh, processes. For example, your supplies. Is your supplies an important part of your business? Should it be a goal? You always want to watch out your supply. You know, if you sell pizza, is it important that you have all the material you need, the raw material? Yes. yes. Internal processes must be measured uh, for operational efficiency and growth and development. Here we've got this example, Inter uh, resources input, and uh, depending on the environment, and then we've got product that's output, which is you know, what is your goal. And then some companies will have one of those three uh, approaches. Some companies focus on the resources. Some people, I have a pizza, I focus on my raw material, because good raw material means good pizza. Some people, they don't focus on the raw material. They focus on their internal processes approach, which means any material I get is not very important. What's important is how I prepare it inside my kitchen, what recipe I have. Do you see? And some other companies, they focus on the goal. How does the product output look like? Do you see? They focus on the package, on the outside uh, look, on the maybe you know how is the final experience people get more than they focus on what happens in the kitchen or what raw material was used do you see Hamad, you're amazing you gave an example of every sample of these now this is the scorecard do you guys remember the scorecard what is the scorecard the scorecard is the gauges that you see Remember the car? Yes. Remember the car? Yes. These are the car. So here, financial. Here we've got customer. We have internal process, which is you know, what happens inside. And we have learning and growth. Okay? Now, which one of these you don't understand? Learning and growth. Now, it says here effective criteria. Effectiveness criteria. How will our learning and change are improving? Examples of measures will be continuous process, improvement, employee retention. Remember when we talked about your employees? Are they learning? Are my employees uh, growing? Do, I, do they develop themselves? Do they stay with me or they leave me? When I get new people, do they learn quickly or I need to teach them? If I teach them, do I have programs that are effective in making them do well? Do you see? So that's the idea of learning and growth. 
And you want anything else? Which other one do you want me to explain? They're all okay? Let's look at financial. It talks about effectiveness criteria is how well do our actions contribute to better financial performance. So the examples will be profits, return on investment. So if you're a manager, you want to see in front of you the gauge. How much profit? How much is my return on investment? For every dollar I spend in this business, how much money I, I earn? Do you see? That's an important uh, you know, uh, balance score uh, item that you need to focus on if you're following this approach. A balanced scorecard, it's, uh, this is balanced scorecard. All right, so uh, that's the balanced scorecard. Uh, this is the design essential. It says here, organizations exist for a purpose. Uh, you want to make sure you understand your purpose. Uh, strategic intent uh, include competitive uh, advantage and uh, core competencies. So you want to look at what is great in you and why you are better than everyone else. And you have to have strategies. Uh, there are many techniques. Some people follow strategy of, you know, uh, of uh, prospectors, the defenders. Some people go with the low cost uh, differentiation. Some people go with uh, focus on the output, focus on the input, focus on the balanced scorecard. Uh, models to aid the development of a strategy. We looked into the, my, the Porter and the... Remember Porter, what did he say? Focus on your competitors. See the power of your buyer. See the power of your uh, seller. And uh, organizational effectiveness must be assessed. You have to check your company and the balance scorecard is a great assessment tool. And there is no approach suitable for every company. Okay? That's the end of this chapter.